Well, we're about to start building our wings, putting them all together. The first thing you need to do is cut the ends of your the, the front and the back of your ribs. So this here is pretty cut and dried on the front. There we go. Just throw it on the floor and uh, you know just put it on there. Bring the saw down. Cut it straight with that. You don't really need a stop. It's pretty quick and easy. But for the back trailing edge, and the trailing edge is actually used to uh, align the wing and make it straight and square. So, so to do the trailing edge, which is cut about a quarter of an inch back from where the two converge, right there, the two, the bottom and the top cap converge about a quarter inch back from that and then the trailing edge will have a quarter inch slot in it and this will fit back into it so the the trailing edge will come up to about right there so to do this we're gonna use a stop that's a very specific width and I glued this up instead of cutting it thinner I another piece thinner I just glued these two because they came out perfect to the perfect length so using that I'm going to put every single one of the uprights that the rear spar goes against I'm going to put every one of them against that stop and cut them all to the exact same length and we'll give her give her a quick uh, test here real quick and yeah that's going to come out right on that line perfect there's just something really beautiful about having all of your ribs stacked up. Of course, you don't sit very flat because of this. Three crisscrosses right here are wider than the ribs, so they kind of start bending up, but still a beautiful thing. So now we'll just measure about a quarter of an inch in on these and that's the width that will make this portion of the trailing edge the, the leading edge of the trailing edge and uh, that's how wide we'll make it at 15 degrees which it'll come out close to an inch and a half or something like that and uh, tomorrow we'll go ahead and do the trailing edge so at this point we can Go ahead and put this here print away and we'll start working tomorrow on the rear uh, or the trailing edge and which somebody just posted about okay how do you put all these notches one foot apart on the trailing edge and I'll show you the way that I do it since I don't have a dado the easy way to do it would be using a dado blade on your table saw I don't have one and uh, I'm not going to invest in one just for the just for those it's pretty easy to do I'll show you tomorrow